So we're going to start out with two uh, light pastel colors of acrylic paint. just going to add these onto our background in patches of color just covering the whole page There's no right or wrong when applying this. We're just going to completely cover all the white of that background. Then we are going to dry this completely. Once this is completely dry, uh, we are going to move quickly for the next step. Um, we're going to choose a nice dark color that uh, coordinates nicely with what we've put down. And we're going to water this down. Oops. You want it to be really uh, loose and watery. Loose and watery. So. Um, I like to use, I have a little pipette, you can add water with the paintbrush, that's fine as well. What we're going to do is just mix this up, make it nice and loose. Get some rubbing alcohol. Ninety percent or better rubbing alcohol is what we want here, um, but it's standard rubbing alcohol that you would get uh, at the pharmacy or the store. And we're going to work quickly here. What I'm going to do is add patches of this watery paint, and then we're going to come back in drip some alcohol. And you'll see kind of that beautiful pattern happen. That beautiful alcohol reaction with the paint. Your acrylic paint has to stay wet. Uh, that's why I work in sections here. A 
it's just fun um, to splatter. You can also use a paintbrush as well and make some finer splatters. But anywhere you add the alcohol, um, it's going to push away that acrylic paint. So this is a really fun um, way to make a background. And I think it's just beautiful. So you just go in nice and thick with that watery paint and then you add some alcohol. the larger splatters with some finer mistier splatters really just experiment with it um, you can even just tap some on here as well You'll see as your, your acrylic paint dries, you lose the ability to add uh, any more of this fun texture. So once you get your background situated how you like it, with the alcohol, we're going to go ahead and dry this. Alright, once this is dry, what I like to do is go back in. So we've got this nice um, thinned out paint. I'm just going to add a smidge more of paint. It's dried out just a bit while I was working. and watery. You can even add more water right on here. I'm going to create just a little focal point. I'm going to put some paint on here. You can even blow it around a little bit. Move it around a little bit with a wet paint brush. I just want to create kind of a out area and this is where I am going to put my word. Don't be afraid as you're playing to add in a touch of color, you know, a little bit here and there, change it up. like it 
to be nice and watery so I can kind of move and blob that around a little bit. we are going to dry this as well. stamps and of course write it on print it on whatever you want to do area. This time I'm going to use a uh, Distress Crayon and I'm just going to go around the edges and then I'm going to activate it. That is my super easy um, acrylic paint background number one. For the next acrylic background, what we're going to do is choose um, three colors. I like to choose um, colors that are in the same color family for this. And um, I'm going to set one of those aside. I'm going to set aside the red for a glaze. Now, I'm going to set out my other two colors to use here. I 
I've got a nice cotton candy pink and a plum. And what we are going to do is similar to the last acrylic that we did. We're just going to add patches of color with these. okay if they blend. We're just covering up all that white. Okay. We want to get some various shades of these two colors. So mixes a little, a little bit stays separated, and that's exactly what we want. We just want a little bit of everything. All right, once we get this on there, I am going to take a paper towel and kind of crinkle it up and I'm just going to pat some of this color so it just moves around, creates a little texture. I really like this. I could stop right here, but I do have um, a glaze I'm going to put over here. So for now, I'm going to dry this. Now that this is dry, I am going to create glaze. Um, I've got glazing medium. I use this fairly often, so I have it on hand. If you do not have glazing medium, you can always just mix a little bit of water with your paint. Um, if you've got Mod Podge or um, liquid matte medium, liquid gel medium, you can create a glaze that way. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and just mix up the glaze. And this just makes my paint nice and transparent. And I'm gonna glaze this. This is a beautiful um, bright red color called Cinnamon Drop, I believe. Yeah, Cinnamon Drop by Deco Art. I really like this color. And so I'm just gonna glaze right over the top of this. This unifies a little bit of this background. I don't need my glaze to be completely even. I'm okay if there's areas of lighter and darker glaze. This just unifies this to a nice color. And of course, the colors I had underneath play beautifully with this this bright red, this beautiful cinnamon red. to waste paint so I'm going to come back through and I'm just going to add patches of this glaze so some areas are lighter and some are darker. And I really like this technique. It makes it look like a marble underneath. Beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful technique. So I'm going to dry this and then um, we're going to move on and do our word. Now I'm going to create a real simple um, stencil on here. Before I do my word, I'm going to put my word right on top of this. So this is going to be kind of like a focal point in the background of my word. So I'm just going to stencil. I'm just using the plum color. And I'm going to stencil, of course, hearts. My word for this one is love. I'm going to just stencil some parts on here. And this beautiful plum color that we used for the background so it will coordinate. our hearts on there. I'm going to dry these quickly. And of course we can add our word. This time I'm just going to write it on there. <laughs> 